Hello, everybody. Hello. Come on in, come on in. We've got a story time. Hmm. Hmm. Come on in, come on in. I'm live. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. So, I uh, just got off the phone with speaking with the producers, uh, produ producer in particular, from Vanderpump Rules on Bravo, on... Uh, the Bravo Network. Hi guys. Hey, what's up? What's up? And uh, um, they are very interested in having me be part of Vanderpump Rules. Should there be another season of the show? Um, sorry, I will have my video coming out. Um, my workout video. I made it today, but I, ha I had to live stream with you guys right now because I love you too. Uh, Joe Louis is your name. Cool. Um, I had to live stream with you guys because I'm actually like distraught about this. Uh, yeah, they asked me to be a possible part of the next season of that show, uh, which is, if you haven't seen Vanderpump Rules, it's one of those, like, super trash reality shows where everybody just screams at each other and bangs each other, and, like, that's, that's the show. That's, which, hey, so, sometimes you just want some trash television, and that's a very good trash television show. Um, but for me... So Morgan, Morgan that's saying, yes, do it, yes, do it. It compromises every bit of integrity that I have as a human being to be part of something like that because I know from those cast members that they want me involved, by the way, because I know what happened with two of the main cast members on that show who have recently got a divorce and I was very intertwined with their lives during that time. So basically... They want me to come on that show to talk shit about those people and get involved in their gossip and their shit. But I have skills in life. <laughs> and also, I have higher ratings than that show on my videos each week without me selling a part of my soul and making people look bad and hurting them and just being an overall asshole to get people to watch me fight on TV. Uh, I don't really yell at people in real life. It's not a thing I do on the daily. I yell into my camera when I want to. Um, it's all staged, though. Exactly, Kyle. And here's the thing. is the producer I was just talking with thinks I'm a fucking idiot, which when people lie to me, I find it very offensive because that means you think I'm dumb. You think I'm dumb, which means you think everything that I've accomplished in my life up till this point was an accident. Not that I'm a really smart girl. Because I am a smart girl. I'm silly as fuck, but I'm a, I'm a smart girl. My instincts, every, someone that just wrote about my instincts, everything in my gut wants to throw this show up that they just wrote to me. Or they just called me and asked me to do it. Like, I have life skills. I've been a professional dancer since I was a kid. I do comedy videos. I'm doing this fitness stuff with you guys. The offers that I have coming in right now are so amazing and positive and I'm going to be doing a lot of positivity stuff and motivational stuff with you guys this year because that's what I believe in and that's what makes me feel good and that's where my integrity lies as a human being, as a soul, as a person and so I know some people are just so thirsty to be on a TV show in like in LA that they would, yeah, yeah, sign me up, sign me up, I'll, I'll talk shit, I'll scream at people, I'll, I'll, I'll make fake drama. And the producers are like, no, it's, we never tell them to make fake drama bullshit. I've been there when you have talked to your cast members and told them that they have to create fake drama or they're going to get fired. You lying pieces of shit. You're lying to me on the phone right now when you're trying to get me to be on your show. So you think I'm not fucking stupid that, I, that you can lie to my face and I don't even know. So you can suck a dick, first of all. Second of all, I have higher ratings than you every fucking week you put out an episode with me putting out my videos to these awesome people who watch my stuff without me compromising my integrity as a human fucking being and making up fake bullshit for the world. I know for a fact that the storylines are fake and that you tell them to do these crazy storylines. Like, you've had people fake drug problems and, like, relationship problems and everything that it's just like that makes you the worst human being in the fucking world to me like the worst human being oh my gosh it's just like like it makes my skin crawl thinking about the st like selling my soul to be on some show when i can make people think 
I can help change the world. I can make you guys laugh and make you happy and take the amazing positive offers that I'm getting in my life as a result of how I live my life and you guys being amazing and supporting me and not have to do any of that and just like be a good person, you know? And they think I'm fucking dumb. They're trying to bring me in as a villain. They're trying to pretend that I had something to do with uh, this marriage splitting up and like the one bitch went to the press and told her that, told the press that I like slept with her husband, which never fucking happened. That never happened. And I have so much dirt on that situation and they know it. They know it. I'm like, how, how much are you gonna pay me? Seriously, like, I am a professional in the entertainment industry. Why do I need a show? <laughs> like, I'm not a waitress at Sir. Ugh. Ugh. Like, so many, you guess they need the ratings with me on it. Not that you're, t yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's so much, exactly, there's so much bollocks on TV. There's just absolute bullshit. And I, I want to make good comedy. That's what I want to do. And musical comedy and theater. And like, I got shows coming for Vegas. I'll get ready for that shit. Like, I want to do quality things that matter. I would be on The Apprentice. That show, I would be on in a heartbeat. It shows your brain. It's awesome. That's a good show. I would rather be a good person, like a real good person, than be on some show on Bravo, being an awful human being and selling out other people and selling out myself. So, no. And the dude lying to me on the phone, we don't tell them to uh, change the stories. Yes, you do. I've been there. I've, I've literally stood with your cast members while you told them to make shit up. So don't fucking lie to me. I hate when people lie. Don't lie. <laughs> lying is the worst. Like, I live my life by not lying to other human beings. So I don't think I'm a good fit for that genre of bullshit. But I'd get a discount at Sir. Oh, it's a good restaurant, but no thank you. Bollocks. I know it was English of me. Yeah, yeah. Vanderpump Rules requested me. Yeah, they did. And that show is a bunch of waitresses who scream at each other. I'm not sure where I would fit into that. It doesn't make sense. Exactly. Highest self above all. It would be me compromising my integrity to be on that show. The answer is no. Plus, they get to edit it however they want to. And being a superstar editor with my shit, <laughs> I know the difference between them taking a, a clip that's like, um, hey, do you, hey, do, did you, do you think this guy's cute? Oh yeah, he's totally cute. He's a nice guy. Can turn into, hey, did you sleep with blah, blah, blah? Yeah, he's totally cute. He's a nice guy. I'm fucking smart. I'm smart. You guys are looking for a storyline. I'm not stupid. God damn. God damn. Shout out to Ohio. What up? Okay, now I'm opening this up to you guys. What do you guys think? Uh, would you compromise your integrity? Would you go on TV and lie? Would you make up fake stuff for ratings? I've literally been with cast members of that show when they were told to do things. And the funniest, he's the funniest shit. He's like, you know, at our tapings, it's like this. No, it's not. I've been at your tapings. He didn't realize I'd been at his tapings. Actually, me... And my friend, comedian, Jim Jeffries, if, I'm sure you guys know him from Netflix, a buddy of mine, him and I actually got in a fight with the cast of Vanderpump Rules during one of their tapings, because they were being such assholes at, like, a public venue and fake fighting. And we, Jim actually mooned them in their shot. It was the funniest shit ever. <laughs> and then I was supporting him. Actually, I stuck my finger in his butt and did this in their shot, because they were being such assholes. They were fake fighting. And then they redid the take of them fake fighting and yelling at each other. It was so stupid. Exactly. Reality TV is so corny. Exactly. No. Okay, you guys weigh in right now. Do you want to see me on some screaming at each other reality show? Or do you want to see me make high quality comedy videos? Help change the world by changing our minds and make us think of different things. My TV shows that I've been offered that would be coming out this year. You guys tell me. You tell me. <laughs> you want me to compromise my integrity to let some people make me look like a piece of shit? Huh? Is that something we want? <laughs> Did I call the guy on these things on the phone call? Oh, when I talked to him the second time, I was like, hey, so I just checked your ratings, and I have higher ratings uh, on my live streams than they have on their TV show. And I have a bigger following than the star of your show. So... 
Yeah, so I think you guys need me. So if you'd like to give me a formal offer for this show um, and what that would entail, then we can discuss that. But I'm not coming to your thing on the bottom rung like some fucking wannabe waitress actress trying to get on TV. No. And then, then, no. So that they can be like, aspiring comedian Nicole, suck a dick. <laughs> I, I can't compromise my principles because every time I do in life, something bad happens when it doesn't feel good and you go with it anyway. Mm -mm. And like in the last like year, this is something else that came up recently. I, I unfortunately have encountered a bunch of really shady dudes in the last year that literally are still hitting me up. And then I see one is getting uh, one. His wife messaged me. He's been married for eight years. And, like, that's just, like, shady shit. So I just, like, cut it out. And, like, one, like, was also had a girlfriend now, but was still hitting me up. And, like, I don't like the shade. I cut the shade out because I just like living my life as a decent human being. I just find life is happier and better that way. And, like, cast members on that show literally ended up on pills to cope with their, their, like stress and anxiety and like their high level it's almost like ptsd that they have now from being on that show and being told they have to have a drama and they have to like uh, and then fake things being on tv and then now they look like a piece of shit and now this couple's fighting because of what was aired on the show it's like why would i wreck my life oh god why would i let anybody have control over me like that it's so no that's horrible <laughs> Accent on whore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Emu farms. That sounds amazing. Just be my badass self and keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I prefer that. I prefer that. You prefer... You pulled over your car and you're listening? Oh, thanks. Thanks. I did make you guys a workout video, so I will post that later. I have to get this off my chest, which is currently very exposed, because do you ever have a conversation that just makes your palms sweat and makes you, like, shaky on the inside and just be like, ew? Like, ew. Like, you're, you're lying to me. And he's like, oh, I didn't think you'd be this hard to convince. Uh, this was uh, strange that it's, I, I'm surprised you're this hard to convince. And I'm like, yeah, because your cast members tell me that you make them say things. Oh, no, we've never done that. Liar, liar, you're lying, you're lying to me. Oh, we would never uh, embellish the truth. It's just, it's a family thing. We don't need to talk to your agent and manager. <laughs> yeah, you do. Or you're like shitty at what you're doing i'm awesome on my own don't do it i don't think i should do it i'm gonna i'm gonna make a poll below like they're not gonna want me to do it after this anyway i don't want to do it this is like my official solidifying that i won't be doing it that's why i did this live stream to make sure i can't even go back on my integrity and go over there because just like no no and there's no way that they would release or like have a contract that i get final edit final edit on it so I know they're going to try and make me look like a piece of shit because that's what the show does. It makes people look like pieces of shit. And then they fight. And then they fuck. And then someone else fights. And then they fuck. And it's, it's fun drama, but like, I have skills. I have life skills. <laughs> Why do they think beautiful people are stupid? I know. And it's so, it's so condescending when he's like, I know um, you have, uh, you're doing some things. Um... Smart Studio Radio and 10 others just shared this video. Sweet. Um, they're like, you know what? You're doing your YouTube thing. And I know you, you're, you know, some people like what you do. Some people don't like what you do. So that's, that's probably good. What you mean to say is I'm fucking awesome and I get ratings. Bitch. I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. I'm they, I work very hard. And I'm very good at what I do when I do my comedy stuff. And I'm an honest human being. And I will tell the truth no matter what. So even if they told me to lie, I won't do it. So I wouldn't be good on one of those shows because I'm not going to throw some, some person's life. They're not using fake names. This is an acting. I'm not going to throw someone's life under the bus. And I'm not going to do it. And if you aren't drama, they force you to be or kick you off. Exactly. I was with a girl who was a main character on that show who told me she was going to get kicked off if she didn't stir up drama with her husband. And then they ended up fighting a lot in real life. Would I ever do radio? Totally. Vanderpump rules is what we're talking about. 
why so many mad faces they're angry about hearing the truth about reality shows like if i'm gonna be on a reality show it literally i'd be on the apprentice in a second yeah or dancing with the stars or the uk version of dancing with the stars they've reached out to me before maybe that's something i do this year that'd be really fun oh i know this top i make fun of this top in my workout video i'm gonna post later yeah so Long story short, I had to get that off my very exposed chest because I, uh, I think in life there are shortcuts and those shortcuts don't feel good to your soul and to your integrity. And I'm not going to compromise myself and I don't think anybody should compromise themselves. And the truth, I think integrity is what's really missing um, a lot these days in life. Us, you know, standing for something always standing for that, unwavering from the fact that you stand for being a good person no matter what money you're offered, no matter what fame possibly could be attached to that, because those things aren't real and they're going to go away. And then you're going to be left with a shit life that's a result of decisions that didn't feel good in your gut in the first place. When you're good to people, like I always say, keep laughing, be good to each other in real life, and you go team, and you all work as a team. I firmly believe that I would be better for this world by making people laugh and working together with people instead of trying to tear people down on some shit TV show. Fuck you, Vanderpump Rules. I'm going to go now, guys. Keep telling me uh, what you're thinking. Okay, bye.